Canada has one of the highest rates of multiple sclerosis in the world, a chronic condition for which there is no cure. But a research breakthrough at the University of Toronto has the potential to improve the lives of those living with MS far beyond current medications. We've developed a type of reprogramming technology that takes cells that are important for disease progression in MS or drive the progression of MS and it changes them into cells that can promote functional recovery. Put simply, neuroscientist Mariam Faz says they've discovered a gene therapy that can turn bad cells into good cells. Our body is comprised of different cell types and so each one of those different cells is kind of instructed on who to be by a set of instructions or a set of codes. And so the premise of reprogramming is really simple. If you know those instructions or you know those codes, you can basically tell any cell to become what you want it to be. She explains that cells can perform different functions at different times. The hope is to identify cells that are causing harm at a specific stage of the disease and turn them into cells that are beneficial at that same stage. In theory, you could fine-tune it to whatever you needed. And if we can pinpoint those cells that need to be removed and the cells that need to be created, we can design therapeutics that are specific to not only broadly MS, but to every stage of MS, different types of MS, and then, you know, for other diseases like Alzheimer's or spinal cord injury. Normally, reprogramming technology involves growing cells in a dish, which are then transplanted into the body, which requires immunosuppressant drugs to ensure the cells survive. And what's really amazing about this technology is that you can actually do that at the site of disease in the brain or the spinal cord or even the optic nerves. If all goes well, FAST says the therapy may be about 5 to 10 years away from clinical trials. Mark Gonzalez, who was diagnosed with MS at the age of 27 last September, says it gives him hope for the future. I am undergoing treatment with Ocrevus, which is an immunosuppressive drug. And of course, there's tons of side effects that come along with that, where I do have to take a lot of precautions and be very careful because I can fall very sick very quickly. Um, and so finding a solution where maybe something like that doesn't have to be the only option is very exciting. He adds that knowing that research into MS is moving in the right direction helps him stay positive. We can't dwell on the fact that this is something that we have to deal with. Um, we have to also look forward to the research that is being done and be supportive of those things, donate to those causes, and do as much as we can to ensure that that continues to progress so that we can change lives down the road. The hope is that eventually it could turn into a cure, at least slow down the progression of MS without the use of daily drugs. Dilshad Berman, City News.